The break-in here at Barry Goodbyes couldn't come at a worse time. It's left the employees in shock and customers, both asking who would do such a thing. This video shows exactly who broke into the Barry Goodbyes Safe Haven store on Westbury. There's a lot of stuff in here. Employees hope exactly despite the thief's where. mask, someone recognizes his clothing or his body language. Whenever you see that person, you think more of our families and what they're experiencing um, and that there are people, you know, willing to take things away from our families who or at the lowest point in their lives. The burglar broke the front door glass around 5 a.m. Sunday. So we've already boarded that up. Once inside, he moved quickly. So this is just kind of the office area that he was in. And seemingly went straight for the money. It's the cash we're losing by having to redo all the locks on the doors, working with the security team, all of that stuff. So we're losing quite a bit by just not being open as well. This is where families who have experienced homelessness can shop for free. Someone broke in a couple of nights ago. Oh my God. I know, it's so sad. People donate almost everything you can imagine too. The Safe Haven store raises money by selling those items, which are dropped off at the store every day. We have a building. But due to the break-in, employees directed people giving to one of their other locations. Loretta Endress and other supporters have their suspicions about who would steal from a charity. I think someone who's desperate and someone who um, doesn't know God. That's a good thing about Fort Worth. We're all about giving, so no matter what happens, we all get together to help out. Here's another look at the thief who didn't waste any time. It was a pretty in and out process. He wasn't here for a long time, really. In Fort Worth. It's sad. You feel violated, I guess. I'm Scoop Jefferson.